Hello, writers. After our tools, we're looking at our sentence templates. And this week, we're on template number, number nine. There was a hand in the darkness, and it held a knife by Neil Gaiman from The Graveyard Book. Um, let's take a look closely at what this sentence is doing, why we're using this as a template. Um, the purpose of this kind of a sentence is to join two sentences together in a grammatically correct way. Technically, they're called clauses. Um, so our first clause is, there was a hand in the darkness. We could put a period right here, and it would be a completely fine sentence. It would be totally correct. But I want to say more about the hand because we're not done yet. So I add the second clause telling about what the hand is doing. And then um, I add this comma, and I need the and comma and to join these two clauses together in one complete sentence in a grammatically correct way. There was a hand in the darkness, comma, and it held a knife. Let's compare to, to, to some different ways of joining these sentences. So this is our first one. There was a hand in the darkness and it held a knife. We could also use a semicolon like we learned in a previous template. There was a hand in the darkness. It held a knife. And so that's also completely correct. It has a little bit of a different feeling. There's more of a pause when you use the semicolon version. If you want your sentence to flow through more smoothly or like regular conversation, then you would use the comma and the and because that, that's more similar to the way that people speak. Um, a lot of uh, students write this third version. There was a hand in the darkness, comma, it held a knife, and this is incorrect. It is not correct to just take two um, clauses and stick them together with only a comma in the middle. Um, the fourth way, of course, would be to put a period and to capitalize the I in the next sentence. Um, and so the purpose of this one, again, is that it, uh, it achieves this flowing tone of joining these two clauses together, sounding like a normal conversation. So how do you imitate this template? Um, this one is fairly straightforward. There was a blank in blank and it blank. Um, so example imitation, there was a guard in the castle and he looked fierce. Or there was a dolphin at the aquarium, comma, and it leaped out of the tank. There was a whispering sound in the basement, comma, and it gave me the shivers. So these sentences should feel pretty familiar, pretty um, not too complicated, but we're focusing in on this comma and, and so that you can get very used to it so that it becomes second nature to um, keep your sentences going with the comma and so you can use the grammatically correct um, form of linking. Your homework this week, sentence imitations, write five imitation, sentence imitations of our template number nine. In each one, use one of the words below, dense, decrepit, knack dazzle and gurgle. That's all for this week. Happy writing.